Man, there is no better time. Just be ready. What's good, y'all, man? It is your boy, Sniper Kicks. And today, Saturday, man, it is the Jordan 4 Thunder Day. We haven't got this shoe in 10 years, so I'm super excited for this video right here. So we're gonna do a mixture. We're gonna talk about this shoe and we're gonna have a vlog and I'm gonna give you guys some intel or some information based on releases that are about to go down. But before we get into the video guys, you already know, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Make sure you smash that like button and of course, hit that notification bell because you already know, I'm gonna hook you guys up with the sneaker information, give you the 411 and tell you guys how to cop shoes for retail. So the Jordan 4 Thunder, man, this has been a release that has been crazy, man. We got a shock drop on the Jordan 4 Thunder. So many people that watch my channel hit on the shock drop. Then we got exclusive access, so many people hit. Then we got JD Sports and Finish Line exclusive access, so many hit. And we had Flex. Flex is so bad, it is so trash. Like, bro, how can you not fix your app? They are by far the worst app I've ever seen. So guys, a lot of people were able to cop or win on the Flex app. Basically you do your reservations, put all your head starts, pick the store that you wanna pick up at and then you're good to go. But Flex had a malfunction in their database. I don't know what happened that they were not allowing people to get in. So I was trying, trying, trying to get in. It wasn't working out. People, everybody was hitting me up like, Sniper, I can't get in, I can't get in, I can't get in. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I just gave up. I'm like, I'm done with Flex. I am not going to spend my time trying to log into this app for an hour straight. So I assumed that they were gonna extend the time, but they didn't. I finally got in, bow, I got this message right here. Sorry, you did not confirm in time. I saw a few people that were able to get in, even though I was having troubles, but the majority of people were having trouble. So the people that were on wait lists, you guys had a heck of a time because you most likely took a W. But guys, let me know your experience of the Jordan 4 Thunder because it was absolutely crazy, absolutely mayhem. Also guys, on the sneakers app, there was 144,000 pairs. So here's the thing, they dropped so many pairs on the sneakers app. Let me know in the comment section below if you cop the Jordan 4 Thunders there. Again, if you actually put in your footwork, you had a great chance of copping this shoe because there was plenty of pairs. You had a lot of different chances. I did take an L on the sneakers app. Maybe sneakers already knew that I got a W on the shock drop. Also guys, Gray school sizes did not sell out right away. Gray school sizes, it took a little while. I don't even know if they're all sold out quite yet. But guys, if you do need gray school pairs, make sure you look at Nike. And I'm sure they're probably gonna restock in the next couple days because Nike did make a ton of pairs right there. Also, you had different apps like the Chic. You had Snipes. Remember, Snipes first come, first serve. That was a kill. And I saw a lot of people cop on Snipes first come, first serve. I'm gonna put a picture right here of people actually going to Snipes and copping that. Then you have Finish Line going there to opening. So guys, like I said, we're gonna do this as a vlog as well so we're gonna go to the store pick up my pair it's gonna be a quick day today i'm going to pick up the pair at one of my malls come back show you guys the jordan 4 thunder and then go from there but guys let me know in the comment section below if you're able to cop the jordan 4 thunder what's good y'all man i know you're saying why well, i got this button up on I had some family engagements that i had tend to but uh we're about to get these jordan 4 thunders snipes did first come first serve but overall, I'm gonna check Snipes. I'm gonna check a couple finish lines. I won JD Sports exclusive access, so I got some pairs reserved. But overall, Flex was terrible, man. Absolutely terrible. So I just gave up because they wouldn't let me log in. Like I said earlier in the video, they would not let me log in. So I was like, forget it. So I didn't get any Flex pairs, but let's see here what we can get and keep it moving. Let's get it. Let's see Snipes right here. And let's see if they got anything here. Let's see right here. Just drunk sitting. So we go over to right here, the woman's. They got a lot of stuff here, man. Look at all these. Let's go to men's. Where's the men's at? So y'all saw that Snipes over there did a raffle. Uh, so overall, they are releasing them. They have a ton of pairs in the back. Uh, so now we're gonna go to JD, pick up this pair, see what they got there, and then get things moving, get back to the crib, talk about this shoe a little bit. But overall, it is a quick day, because uh, I had a lot to do today. But overall, guys, let me know in the comment section below what you cop, man. Were you able to cop the Jordan 4 Thunders? There's still gonna be a ton of chances 
So I'm gonna post another video or later on in this video, I'm gonna tell you how to be able to cop the shoe even if you didn't take that W on sneakers and flex and all that stuff. So let's go to JD Sports, pick up the pair and uh, keep things moving, let's go. So y'all was able to secure some pairs from JD Sports. And uh, JD Sports are gonna do their leftovers at 5 p.m. So if you have a finish line or JD Sport that did, you know, exclusive access, they will let go of their pairs at 5 p.m. There will be leftover day on Flex as well. There will be a good amount of pair on leftover day, so we'll talk about that in detail too. Also, I forgot to mention, always use your $20 off rewards. Again, you wanna get these shoes for below retail low retail so make sure you're using our twenty dollars rewards it does help it allows you to save money in your pocket and uh you already know i want to help you guys out let's go so guys back at the crib as you guys see right here picked up the pairs jd sports so now let's take a look at these jordan 4 thunders man i'm telling you right now like my snipes they did a raffle beforehand but they had a whole bunch of pairs in the back so I know people that want them at that nice were able to cop them once they did leftovers. But right here, let's take a look at these Jordan 4 Thunders as you guys see. You guys probably seen this shoe a million times. Open it up and bam, we got the Jordan 4. And here's the thing guys, Jordan 4s are the cream de la creme regarding Jordan silhouettes. As you see right here, the bottom, you have the black, you have the yellow. You have this yellow right here. So this is kind of why the resale isn't high on this shoe because at the end of the day, a lot of people do not wear yellow. But this shoe is straight butter, man. This is actually a good pair. My other pair from sneakers was, you know, kind of, you know, the quality wasn't great. If you're going to make so many pairs, the quality is not going to be perfect. So make sure you look at your pairs right there. Jordan for Thunder here. Very nice shoe. And guys, there's going to be a lot more chances to cop this shoe. It's not over if you didn't cop today. There will be leftover pairs for finish line. I'm going to try to get this video out beforehand. But they do do leftover pairs at 5 p.m. at finish line in JD Sports. I think Snipes, if they did do a raffle, doing at 3 p.m. But most of them did first come, first serve at the start of the day. So got these right here. And the interesting thing is on the gray school sizes, they got the same box. They, they didn't go cheap on the gray school sizes. So I got a gray school as well. And that's why Finish Line and JD is killing flex, guys. Let me know in the comment section below, which one do you like more, JD Sports or do you like the Flex app? I think it's obvious. Everybody loves JD more. But I was able to get those right here. But like I said earlier, guys, make sure, make sure, make sure you're going to your foot lockers tomorrow if you didn't cop a pair because they will be doing leftovers. So there's a lot of different avenues. A lot of places did first come, first serve regarding sneaker boutiques or smaller sneaker stores. They were doing first come, first serve. And this wasn't an instant sellout. I saw some stores take some time to actually sell out on the shoe. So you will have chances regarding that. So guys, regarding the resale value, here's the thing they actually went up a little bit they're like $270 in the resale value once all these pairs start coming in expect it to dwindle down to maybe around 250 240 getting a Jordan 4 for this cheap man it's a deal man as you guys know during COVID getting a shoe like this the Jordan 4 Thunders you already know the resale would have been over 300 bucks or 290 but now you see a lot of the shoes the big GRs are not really reselling. They're not having a lot of price. You look at StockX. If you want to sell this for 270 at StockX, your payout is going to be around 230. That's basically retail. After tax in Chicago, that's 232. And that's the reason why you got to use your $20 off rewards. Or if you're able to get a tax exemption where you don't have to pay tax, that's where you'll start making money off these GRs. But overall, guys, I'm telling you, the time is now to be able to get the shoes that you want. Think about this. In 2023, we're getting a whole bunch of sneakers. That that I know you guys will like. Number one, you have the Jordan 1 Royal Reimagined. You have the Jordan 11 DMPs. We got a lot of different shoes that I know you guys are gonna enjoy that are Mass GRs, the Jordan 12 Cherries. We have the Jordan 1 UNC Toe. So guys, I'm telling you right now, if you just put a little bit of footwork, you'll be able to cop these sneakers. Overall, not like COVID, reselling is not at an all-time high. So you put a little bit of footwork, you'll be able to cop just like you did with the Jordan 4 Thunder. So this is the perfect time, man. You already know I got you guys back regarding how to cop shoes for retail. And I'm gonna keep going, keep pressing, and giving you guys that intel so you'll be able to get every single GR 
this year. So guys, let me know in the comment section below what shoe you're looking forward to in 2023, and we'll keep things moving, we'll keep things pushing. Really do appreciate you guys for watching this vlog. Appreciate you guys for watching my videos, and let's keep things moving. You already know, Snapper Kicks out. Peace.